Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, RootGalaxyNote.com um, So one of you guys on Facebook You know what, let me go actually find it real quick um, You guys pointed out to me that uh, Tegra Overclock works for um, Even though there's no kernels um, Tegra Overclock um, app that you can get on the market gives you um, Gives you overclocking So let me see, who is this guy? Um, there we go, Michael Christopher, Christopher Merton on Facebook. Thanks, thanks to Michael. Uh, Michael, um, so you can go to the Play Store and download um, TegRack Overclock. Just type T E G R A K, and you can download the free version TegRack Overclock. All right, and uh, open it. Basically, what this does is um, it's not a kernel. It's uh, it's a uh, module. There's another way to overclock. Another way to overclock is by installing a module in the kernel, and this is what it does. And uh, so now you can get overclocking. Um, just hit load overclock module. Once you've done that, just go to CPU max frequency, and you can overclock to 1.6 or whatever you want to do. And uh, you can also change the scaling. Um, you don't need a separate uh, set CPU app. You can just use Tegra app. It's the same thing. Um, I I got it uh, on demand uh, 1.6, so this should work on any um, GTN 7000 with ICS, and I think it also works on Gingerbread. Um, it should work for most ROMs. I've used uh, Tegra Overclock on Galaxy S2 often. Sometimes it doesn't work, um, but it doesn't hurt to try uh, because it loads it as a module, and um, for GPU optimization, you can even um, Lock to 267 megahertz um, for faster, you know, gaming performance. Um, so that's cool. So I've got it overclocked. Um, I'm not gonna run Quadrant because I know the score. But you should, you can expect around 4,000 to 4,500 on Quadrant. Um, I'm actually running the King Droid ICS ROM. Should work on Rocket ICS ROM and any other ICS ROMs. Tegra overclock. Um, so now you can get overclocked to 1.6 gigahertz. Uh, with Tegra Overclock, it should be stable for uh, most phones. 1.6 isn't that much, um, but there you go. For GTN 7000 only, um, i7-17 AT&T is not supported yet, uh, but there you go. Easy overclocking. Thanks, thanks again to uh, Michael Merton on Facebook. Um, so that was the overclocking for your GTN 7000. Very easy to do for ICS. Um, and once we have kernels out, we should be able to overclock it even further, optimize it uh, even better. Um, but for, for now, you can use uh, Tegra Overclock app, um, and also it's a great way to overclock uh, your phone without, you know, um, without you know installing a kernel. So it's a safe method. Go do it. Um, have fun. Now you can get overclocking on your GTN 7000. Although these ICS ROMs, I haven't had a need for overclocking, um, but now you can. Anyway, if you have a Galaxy Note, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxy, uh, rootgalaxynote.com. Um, I update you once or twice a week with uh, ROM reviews, tips, hacks, and stuff like this. Um, and uh, it's a great way to get in contact with me via email. And I don't share your email with anyone else but my dog. And uh, you can also sign up in the description. I always have a sign up link for the email if you can't find it under this video if you're on YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me. It helps me greatly. Um, subscribe button up here if you have. Thanks a lot. And uh, use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Plus. Anyway, thanks you guys. Um, I've got, I think, nine more days till my my main account get, comes back. But in the meanwhile, I'll be posting videos here. And uh, uh, thanks again for supporting my new channel. And uh, stay high on Android, folks. Oh, yeah.